What's going on everybody, Yif Graphics here, and today I'm bringing you another visual novel. This one is called Neko Para, and it is about some cat girls. Except for this one, I don't know who she is. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's weird. I hope that doesn't hurt my thing. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get into it. So start game. I messed up the recording last time. I muted my mic, never unmuted it. Oh shoot. Hey dude. How are you talking to me? Thank you very much. I'm heading out now. Jeez. At least I'm glad they have the, f the English subtitles. I would have never guessed what he said. Whew. This should be most of the boxes then. I wiped the sweat off my forehead with my arm. As the movie truck disappeared from view, Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have any signage yet. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There was also a large window which let lots of sunlight in. And finally, there were the words that displayed the name of the bakery. La Soleil. I, I think that's what... Uh, instead of the proper French article, Le, it was La Soleil, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my way, I have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the stature of my family's name and everything that had happened up until now. Alone, I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for that freedom, freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happened. Still, although I was a bit worried, I thought of what lay lay ahead of lie ahead of me. Break into a smile. I don't. I don't even know what I just read. Anyways, all right. In any case, I'd better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into a new smelling bakery. It would smell like paint and stuff. Like, that's not really a good smell. Well, hello. Oh, animation. Dingling. Hmm. What's with this big box? In front of me was a large box. I didn't recognize. A large box. These are two boxes. What are you talking about? Hold on. I'm going to probably mess up. I hope I didn't mess up the recording. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate, absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, they were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If these were from the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All there was were those warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the- What? 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 Ooh, a jiggle. What the heck is that? Huh? Oh. Did you hear that? That was like a- Dun, dun, dun. Oh, <laughs> sound like the was it heart and soul? Let's see. Oh, I think she's getting it on in there. What the hell, girl? What the hell? At least we know what that says. At least it has some voice. Jeez, Louise. 
You're caught. You're red-handed. Oh, it's just a cat. Huh. Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to read over these people. Okay. Phew. Thank goodness. Looks like that fooled him. That was a close. Chocolate. Better be careful. Meow. Like that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? <laughs> um, I, I long time no see, right, right, Master? We just saw each other at my home yesterday, you know. Well, well, um, that is true. Chocola guesses. <laughs> Love your eyes. Uh, more importantly than that, listen up, those movers were really mean. So they were picking up Chocola, right? And they said, this box is heavy, so be careful with it. Chocola wanted to hiss at them all of a sudden. Chocola really did. Chocola did her best to control her temper, but Chocola was fuming. You know, absolutely fuming. Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what I said. Chocola puffed out her cheeks. Mmm! You, you could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Like a ball of yarn? Well, I guess that's how you describe Chocola. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Yeah, like, why weren't you there? Do you want to see your master off? Uh, hello? Achoo! Hmm. Hey. Oh, hey! You're caught red-handed, too. How did you not notice this box? Long time no see, master. My nose was itchy because the inside of the moving truck was dusty. Why? Is Vanilla here too? Wherever Chocolate is, I am too. So you got Chocolate and Vanilla, you know, brown and white. Besides, cat girls don't dislike tight spaces. Also, they said, this box is heavy, so be careful with it, in regards to me too. So I was also mad, just steaming. Again? Huh. In any case, Chocola, Vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wit's end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocola and Vanilla got out of their boxes. Oh, that's good. Hello, hello. Mayday, mayday! Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Sugar Ray doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that chocolate and vanilla could have gotten mixed in the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and they can talk just like us, they can walk like us, they can even dance around like us. But before you know it, they're prancing around on you and they're trying to sit on your laps. But m more than humans, Cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do. So how does that make them closer to cats? You know, I can just throw on some cat ears and a tail. Does that make me a cat? No. I still have my human features. I still have my skin and stuff. That is a person. Anyways, let's not overthink this. I'm overthinking it. They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. Why don't I just call them Nekos? That's really what they say in Japan. That's why the game's called Neko Para. These days, cat girls fit into society. As pets in families or partners to humans. That's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, if, if they're genetically modified cats, they're still a cat, technically. So if they're a partner to a human, that's kind of weird. Huh. <clears throat> My little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. 
So our family has six, including chocolate and vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have milled themselves all on their own. Milling living things through the post would be impossible for one thing. For one thing? What? There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Or either. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigure's doing. I see, so Shigure was the accomplice then? I guess so. Oh, look, so... It's got animation! Look at that, oh, that's so cute. Meow, yeah. this is really pretty. This is a really pretty home. Chocola really likes the smell of new bedding and furniture. It's bigger than it looks. Perfect for master's abilities. What do I do? Vanilla, over here. Let's take a look at that room. Time to explore. From where it is, I suspect that is a bedroom. Master's new bed must be there. Yeah, we must miss that. We can't miss that. Let's go snuggle in it. Snuggle time. Am I going? Am I joining in? <laughs> Snuggling acknowledged. That is fine by me. You have no expression. <clears throat> With that decided, let's go. And if I mean by no expression, I'm talking about vanilla here. I don't think you can see my mouse. Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. Without any ill intentions, the two cat girls were off and running. Well, the bakery did have a living quarters on the second floor. So I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore e either. Uh, can they walk around town and just buy stuff too? So I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that, I looked up an address in my phone's address book. Manaduki Residence? Manaduki Residence. That's how we're gonna say that. Well, I already left Shigure a, me a message so she could call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I hadn't moved out without saying anything. So, for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Sugar Ray soon, anyhow. I hear a weird... Oh, hey, you're in my face. We finished snuggling on Master's bed. Oh, look at those. Oh, jeez. The new bed is very fluffy. It gets a passing score. Good work, you two. So what, if... If the bed doesn't meet their standards, I have to get a new bed or something? That's not right. Gosh, both of you have major bed head. Sheesh. Their hair are just, their hair is just fine. What are you talking about? Oh, Chocola loves it when Master rubs her head. It feels good. I have no objections to this more. I tidied up their hair with a comb. I tidied up their hair with a comb. Their soft hair felt nice as always. I lightly bonked them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? You see, you wouldn't bring us with you, so we had no choice. Chocola. <clears throat> um. Chocola said she was going. So I tagged along. You had no choice? Just tagged along? You too? Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to, this isn't, this isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intentions of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigure, Shigure 
And the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you two just... Well, don't break their hearts. That's not a breaking heart sound. That's a dopey ass face. <laughs> That's not it. It's just that, um, chocolate stomach is just being rebellious. So that's not it, really. What is your deal with your face? <clears throat> Master moved out really early in the morning, so there was no time to eat breakfast. The sound of Chocolate's stomach rumbling is cute anyways. While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past 1 o'clock. Now that i thought about it, I haven't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? You know they'll be happy about that. Yay! Food! Chocolate loves Master! Understanding as ever, Master. We are in your debt. How? It's normal for me to feed you. You're my pets. These two were as easygoing as always. <clears throat> I'm getting fired up, meow. Meat, huh? Must be meat. Okay, I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna save it here. Let's save it. I, I already did make a save, but I'm gonna oversave it. Would you like to overwrite the save data? Yes. There we go. Um, back. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it there because, you know, I wanna keep going with, like, I, I guess that's a chapter. I don't know. But, anyways, let's listen to her one more time. So, that's so cute. Anyways. I'll see you guys in another one of these videos. If you like and enjoy, please leave a like and a comment. Let's shoot for two likes. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.